What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. Welcome back into another Madden video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about all of the latest Madden news that there is to talk about that has been released since we are finally into June here. First and foremost, I want to talk about the covers of the game. We're going to break down the trailer that they just released, and we're going to talk about the release date of the new game. So the first thing, like I said, to talk about is the covers of the game. You guys can see that the one that they've officially revealed on their Twitter page is the the remake essentially of John Madden bursting through the wall. So that cover I like a lot as somebody that's played Madden for a very long time that has played those classic games all the way back through the 90s on PlayStation 1. I really appreciate that cover quite a bit. And to be honest with you, I want to start off this video on a positive note by saying, look, they listened to the fans. They did the right thing with the covers. Now, the contrast to that is that we live in an age where people aren't buying the actual physical copies of games that much anymore. And I was always one of those people as one of the last holdouts to say, hey, you know, I want the physical copy of every game. I want to collect them. I want to put them on my shelf. I want to display play them and things like that, but I inevitably was convinced to make the leap to digital copies and I will never turn back. So unfortunately for me, having John Madden on the cover really doesn't mean that much because I'm not going to actually get a physical copy of the game, at least not right away, unless EA were to provide me one for review of the game and things like that, or if I purchase one later on at a very discounted price to have as a collectible. So they did do the right thing here and they even further did the right thing by including him on all three covers of the game. Now, this is not 100% confirmed. I do believe that we have multiple sources reporting that this is accurate, that they're going to have these three covers and these three editions of the game. But what I'm seeing is these are the three official covers for the game. So let me blow that up a little bit further for you guys. We're going to have, as we mentioned before, the one where he's bursting through the wall. We're going to have the cover where he's being carried off the field. And then we have announcer John Madden, you know, breaking down a play on on the screen there, which is, you know, really nice, a really nice nod to him. And we'll also see that whenever we get to the trailer, that they do a good job here of giving a nod to John Madden and celebrating John Madden, which is what they should be doing. Absolutely. So they're getting some of the PR here correct. But what I will say is once we dive into the trailer, they sort of miss on a couple of the aspects that people are looking for. Now, as we play through the beginning of this trailer they do a nice job of giving us a celebration of John Madden which they've already done on their social media pages it is nice to have this at the beginning of this trailer but here we get our first taste of field sense and and what I'll say here just to to start things off before we really dive into this is this is something we've known a little bit about for a while. We've known some small details about Field Sense and what they're planning to incorporate. And you'll see that in the trailer. It's really just rehashing details that we already knew, which is kind of unfortunate. And it's a relatively short trailer. You can see down here in the bottom right hand corner, this is only a minute 17 long. So we do have to keep that in mind whenever we are reviewing this trailer is that it's, it's, not, uh, it's not going to be a substantive trailer that's going to give us all the information we need to know about the game. It seems like they're withholding some information here. That's the immediate takeaway. Field Sense, an all new gameplay system. Field Sense changes the foundation of how you play by giving you more control all over the field. Control to put the ball where So right here, this is something that we have to talk about. The control to put the ball where you want to place it. I like what they're doing here. You can see that we have a target on the field of exactly where we want to place this ball, which is just a physical representation of something that has been in the game before. And if you guys didn't know, in previous years, you could select where you wanted to place the ball. You could utilize the left stick to push the ball to the right, push the ball to the left, forward, backwards, extend the ball in different directions to place the ball. And it would be more effective depending on whether you had a better quarterback or a lesser quarterback with better accuracies or lesser accuracies accuracies. So it's interesting to me that they are selling this as its own gimmick, as its new gimmick to try to get people to buy into the game. I'll be curious to see how different this is from that system because we already had the ability to place the ball where we wanted to. It just was never implemented as as 
well as it could have been. That's the problem. And it is interesting to see the, the bars above these receivers' heads, the target on the field and everything like that. We're getting a lot more feedback on the field, which could be a good thing or could be a bad thing because sometimes when you have too much going on, it takes away from the realism of it. So it'll be really interesting to see which way this falls, which way this feature is actually going to influence the game. Now this right here, this is the type of stuff that I have to talk about. So we get a couple of clips of actual gameplay here, which I love. This is what you want to see in a trailer. This is what everybody wants to see now in a trailer, is the mechanics actually working in a way that they should be working. However, what I want to say is, for example, with this clip right here, why are we not seeing the actual play play through on this one? Why even include this clip of the quarterback rolling out to the right and throwing this ball, Russell Wilson throwing this ball, if you're right here, we're not even going to get to see where this ball is going. If right here we break away to a cinematic cutscene. To be honest with you, this is a sports game. I don't care about cinematic cutscenes anymore. I know that there are some people out there that want to see this type of stuff. For sure, there's got to be parts of the fan base that want to see those things. But ultimately, I don't want to see any of this crap anymore. You've been selling this to me for 10 plus years, and it's been the same stuff over and over again. I don't want to see these cinematics. I don't know anybody else that wants to see these cinematics. I want to see the actual details about the gameplay. I want to see the way the game works, the way these mechanics are supposed to be working within the game that's about to be coming out. Control to make explosive cuts each time you put your foot in the ground. So really, just taking this back for a moment, I want to see more of this. I want to see more of this stuff. But the other problem I have is every single one of these scenes here is a cutout. So we see Aaron Rodgers going to the right, rolling to the right, and all of a sudden these players are in different positions. Why the cut here? Why the giant cut? Is this the 30th time that you've run this play to get this to work? That's what I want to know. Or is this the same the same play all the way through? I want to see plays from start to finish showing what this game is going to be about. I want the information so that I know whether to buy this game or not. Now, I'm going to buy this game to tell you guys and give you a legitimate review of whether this game is worth your money or not. I do that every single year. But if I was you guys and I see this trailer... I would be holding my breath. I would be waiting until I see gameplay. I would be waiting until people get their hands on the game. So same thing right here. Is this a situation that we're going to see where this was the same play? Or was this cut together 30 times to get the right result to showcase in the trailer? We see this pass going downfield and then all of a sudden this ball is dropped into that receiver's hands. Why are we showing the, the, the jump from right here to right here? That just doesn't make any sense for me. Maybe they're trying to keep the trailer at a certain amount of time or something like that. But why are we seeing that jump? It just does not make any sense. And they're trying to clip through these things. So, you know, on a frame by frame basis, that is a, a major problem that I'm seeing is that we're not getting any true start to finish gameplay in this video. We're really not getting any information so far at all. I mean, they're, they're saying field sense, field sense, field sense, but we're not actually getting any information on what field sense is, how it interacts with the players or what it's going to do in the game. Like, yeah, you can say field sense. It's going to let you pass better field sense. It's going to let you tackle better field sense. It's going to let you make better cuts. But what does that actually mean? Where is the actual information in this trailer that we want to know about? Control to make explosive cuts each time you put your foot in the ground. Control to break loose with new mechanics and cheat a speed. They cannot hold me. Oh, he happy? Field sense gives you the power to read, react, and hit everything. With more control to blow up a play from any position on every down. So we went through this entire trailer and we got to see three plays, three total plays, three actual plays from inside the game. Otherwise, it's been completely cinematic. 
And of those three plays, we only got to see two plays to completion that were also edited in between. So you didn't actually get to see the full play. And the third play, you got to see the quarterback throw the ball and then it cut away to another cinematic. So what are they actually telling us with this? One other note that I want to talk about here real quick that I noticed before that I did not mention so far is in every single one of these videos, you guys can see at the top of the screen, the momentum bar is still there. So I'm crossing my fingers that hopefully they give us an option to eliminate the momentum bar because most Madden players at this point don't want that momentum bar. It is atrocious. It is it is not beneficial to the game in any way whatsoever. So I'm hoping at the very least, especially if anybody over at EA is, is watching this, that you give us a setting to turn this momentum bar off because I'm sure that the arcade game players like Mutt players and things like that want to play arcadey style stuff like that but as a true sim football player i want nothing to do with that momentum bar it is so poorly implemented we've been saying it for a while now and it, it's sad that it's in every single one of these plays that we've seen you can see it up at the top we're getting the same momentum bar that we've seen the entire time but you know i've i've essentially run through this trailer now and we just get the same buzzwords over and over again and that's what i attribute this to this is just this is corporate buzz that's all this trailer is, is it's field sense field sense field sense but they don't actually give us any substance to tell us what field sense is going to be. We get this little section right here where we get to see that the goal is to play just like all of these players. That's great, but show me how you're going to execute that. Show me how you guys are going to implement that. And they just simply haven't done that in this trailer. That's what we want to see at this point. That's what the Madden community wants to see. And, and sorry to say it, but this trailer here does absolutely nothing for me. It does absolutely nothing for the Madden community except for make people angry and make people wonder and make people try to try to figure out other what game are they going to be playing in August whenever this game releases. And that leads me into the next topic here, which is when this game is going to release. And then this is just pretty straightforward stuff here. We're getting this directly from Sports Gamers Online. EA Sports has announced the Madden 23 release date. The game will launch on August 19th for Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. The other thing to note here is that a bit of information we got is that the whole field sense thing is only coming to the, the next-gen consoles, so PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. It's not going to be coming to Xbox One, not coming to PlayStation 4, and it's not coming to PC. So, unfortunately, you're going to still be playing on two completely different versions of the game, depending on what console you guys are utilizing. So, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. My reaction to the trailer was it's a whole lot of nothing. Whenever I watched that trailer through the first three or four times, it was a whole lot of nothing. And you guys should have seen the RFL discord everybody else was flaming it too where's the information at what is field sense play like mad though field sense field sense field sense play like mad uh but no certainly don't get any actual information on what's going on there so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below do you agree do you disagree are you excited for it not excited for it uh, to me, it's a lot of the same. It looks like a lot of buzzwords trying to get people hyped to play a game. But again, I'm going to reserve most of my judgment until I see actual gameplay. In that trailer, we got almost no actual gameplay. I mean, we got next to nothing from that trailer. So again, I have to hold my judgment until I get some actual details that I can provide judgment on. So with all that being said, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you have a good one.